guys, September 25th, 2017. On this, I'm going back to cut them oil tanks up. So, uh, I got two tanks to cut up. Look, the baby dog with me today. It's gonna be like 80 degrees, it said today, so pretty warm. Kind uh, of call this Indian summer. Been pretty warm lately, in the 80s, I guess, so. Either way, I'll try to get you some shots. Best way to, the only way I know to cut these tanks up is with a sawzall and uh, sawzall uh, metal blade. I won't use a torch or a plasma cutter or a grinder because you'll, you'll burn the house down. Uh, even if the tank's empty, I will only cut it with a uh, sawzall. That's the only thing that I use. And I never had a problem with a fire once all the oil's out. Well, there'll be some muck in the bottom of them tanks. Probably, you know, five, five to eight gallons per tank uh, muck. And I'll scoop it out, I'll put it in buckets, and I got some speedy dry. I'm going to cut the tanks up in four pieces. Um, the bottoms I'm going to use for some new burning barrels. And the top pieces I'll cut, I'll cut the metal out of it and uh, I'll use the metal for projects around the house. I'm, I'm buying a track list that needs some uh, repairs and I'll probably use the, uh, the metal for repairing the, repairing the floor and some stuff I need to do on it. Uh, it's a good thickness metal for that type of stuff. But anyway, I'll get you guys some shots when I get there. Alright guys, I got that marked here where I'm going to make the cut. I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Away from this nipple where that hole is, I'm going to cut right down here. Then once I get this, um... I get all the stuff scooped out of there, the muck, I'll cut the bottom after. I got might as well mark that where I'm going to cut the bottom too. Alright, the guy's turned the guy turned up all his zones, make sure everything's working right and I'm coming back nice and toasty on all the returns. He said one of the air handlers, the fan's not kicking in, so it's it's got something to do with the uh, the relay or the heat sensor I'm thinking. I gotta take care of that later. That's gonna be extra. <laughs> See what that heat sensor set at. Oh, he's got it at 180. He's got the flipping thing at 180. Holy shit, no wonder why it ain't working. Look, he's got it at 180. If you can see it, but I put it at 130. I mean, the flipping thing was at 180. No wonder why there was no airflow. Unbelievable. That was a simple fix. All right, let me cut these tanks up. Yeah, we got no fans. Well, you got fan now. I just turned it up. The the relay was set at 180. What? Yeah, I'm gonna show you. Come on, come on over here. Yeah, let's see what we'll see what we got here. Let's see what this one said. Huh? Oh, these fucking idiots. 
I thought they screwed up the thermocouples. This one's on that computer. That was on? 180? Yeah. I mean, what the fuck? I, I mean, really? I had to turn them, they were all at 180. All, right. all of them. I had to go around and, young kids, you know. They were here for a long time. These young kids come and they, they think they are, they know it all. They're just, uh, they're green. Yeah, this one's at 170. Unbelievable. Flipping kids, you know. There it goes. Easy. Yeah, we'll put them at 130. Okay. Yeah, fine. Uh, when it get when that when the pipe heats up to 130, they kick in. Yeah, right. you the, think I know the, the hot water is going through the coils because, but the fan wouldn't come on, so I couldn't get any heat. Out, you know, not much heat out. Right. I gotta tighten up this plug. This cap here is leaking a little bit. High vent. All right. Is that right? Yeah, electronic. It's train, all train stuff. Yeah. Looks like you got mice up here. I see some mice shit. Man, as we got mice. You got mice? I just, I, three years ago, I vacuumed. Look at them all. Yeah. I made a... Guys, there's what? One, two, three, four uh, fan coil units here. So they're uh, air handlers, um, you know, hydro air units. And the, the guy put all the aquastats at, at 180. Uh, young kids that came here do the cleanings on them, so I had to lower them down to 130. But anyway, let me get cutting on this tank. Put a brand new blade in there, be alright. Who oh, gave it the old gun there? I put the mark up above this ridge here and the bottom's gonna be a little bit bigger than the top. I'm gonna use it for burning barrels, so. gonna wanna fall so
continue to cut here. And some muck in the bottom of the tank there. Got some nasty shit. Not too bad though. Let's see it. Not too bad. It's gonna make a nice burning barrel, man. Oh yeah, neck level. Show me neck level. right outside so it don't make a mess. I got speedy drying stuff. I need it. So I put this up on this little step stool, so I tipped it, so I get all the oil to one side so I could scoop it out. There's not a lot in there, but... You guys can see or not, there's not a lot in there, there's some. I'll scoop it out with my container. I mean, this thing doesn't look bad. And this stuff I'll do is I'll throw some speedy dry in here and, and uh, give it the once over. I gotta scoop out that oil, put it in my bucket, and then I'll throw some speedy dry down on there. Probably cut this and then uh, I will put some speedy dry in there to pick up that schmag. It's not a lot, I mean, it's pretty clean considering 25 year old tanks. Still pretty mucky.
right down in there and give it the old gundy. Yeah, no good. We got black, we got black soot, we got black soot. No, you got to change the spacing. You can't get that out of there. You can't, you can't get that soot out of there. So it's gonna need to be replaced. Unfortunately, yeah. Um, you you can't get that soot out of there. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, um, it's all welded up inside there. It's all up inside the heat exchanger now. If you would have, um, if you would have maintained it and, and got a combustion test on the unit, made sure it was running smooth before, you wouldn't have to change it. But now, it, it's all, it's all up in there. And it's, um, you'll never clean it out. You'll never be able to get it out and clean it. So what happens when you heat it up is it gives off high carbon monoxide levels. Not safe. Anyway. Yeah, I can hook one up. You want to get a space heater there, and then I'll hook it up for you. I can do that. You know, get, go to go to Stan and Paul's. Go to Stan and Paul's and buy one there. They can, they'll 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 uh, get it delivered, and then I can switch it out for you. So I put some speedy dry in there and I took my I rubbed it on the sides where all the schmag was. It really wasn't too bad. So I just gotta scoop out that speedy dry. It's all dry now. And uh, I didn't get a I didn't get a lot out of there, maybe a couple of gallons. I mean it wasn't bad. Usually they're worse than that. And I I'm gonna pick up that speedy dry and I'll cut this one in half and uh, get it outside. It's gonna be my burning barrels. I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna show you both, but um that's how I do them. You know, cut this in half, pull the legs off, and uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll. I'll get my cot and get him out of here now. All right, guys. So I just put my strap there. I put my uh, cot there like that, right? I'm gonna put this strap around there, and I'll just pull it upstairs. I'll just light enough. Just do one stair at a time like that. Get it out. Gonna be nice burning barrels, man. Like split them in half like that. One-handed. That's how I'm gonna do it. All right, guys. I got the four. The four bottoms in here. In the back of the truck. 
I got them stacked in there. And I'll put the um I'll put the tops in next. And I'll be able to, you know, shut the doors. Just wheeling them over, putting them on my cart and wheeling them over here, getting them in the truck. Those four there are gonna make two um two new burning barrels for me. Uh, they're gonna be nice, nice and deep. Um, they're in decent shape. Now the guy wanted these oil tanks changed, he wanted the boiler change. He called me to do the job. Um, you know, they weren't leaking that as far as I could see. Um, the boiler's 25 years old, the tanks are 25 years old. They should be changed at this time. Uh, some people let them go 40, 50 years and they start leaking. It's like, this is when you want to change them before they get bad. Now he's got brand new tanks, brand new boilers, good for another 25 years. Alright guys, I got the place all picked up. I'm gonna put the date on a boiler that I installed it. I did do a combustion test on it. I put a, 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 a carbon here. Now I did get a couple of um a couple of questions about the oil tank. Yeah, I put a ball valve and a firematic. That's what I do. Because them firematics will leak a lot of times. And with the ball valve, we just shut the ball valve off. You could change it. And I'd rather not play with this, I'd rather shut the ball valve off to change this filter. That's how I do it. Also on an oil tank piping, what you can do is you can bring an inch and a quarter fill into one tank inch and a quarter vent out of the other tank and put a two inch bypass with two inch black pipe across the top um, like a fill I could have did that but seeing that there was four pipes already here and four holes that's what I went back with but if I was going to do this tank from scratch I would have put a two inch fill an uh, inch and a quarter fill into one tank a two inch bypass across with a union you know just a close nipple swing joint uh, two more elbows into this tank and then the vent from this tank outside so you fill one tank it goes over the bypass into the other tank and fills the other tank and before the whistle stops so you can do it that way um, or you could do it the uh, four pipes individual pipes but that's what I decided to go back with because um, that's what was here and they had them four holes so to the through the, through the mortar, through the concrete. All right, so that's it. I got the truck all packed up. I just give this guy a slip, and I gotta go home and unload all that stuff. All right, I did paint that with rust -oleum. I don't know if you can see it, but I came here and I gave it a good coat of rust -oleum. So it don't, uh, if not, it'll rust. Hello! 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 All right, I got everything in here. I got all the tanks back there. Fit right in here. I'll go home and unload all this stuff. Well, right, push on over, man. Push on over. Come on, push over. Yeah, I know it. I know it. You miss me. Oh, yeah, you miss me. Yeah, I know you miss me. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got sleepies? You got sleepies?